The Southern Baptists set up a website at IVoteValues.com. The church's rule book is inconsistent. self about practicing homosexuals should not be in uh, ministry. We're living in a period of popular Christianity on steroids. We parade immorality and perversion. The GLBT issue is being used as a wedge issue. The Bible doesn't have a single word to say about homosexuality. Every time the Bible has been quoted in a public debate, the Bible has lost. The Bible has lost. The Bible has lost. Could businessmen be profiting from homosexuality being a wedge issue in the church? The church has essentially become a wing of one of our political parties. It's not by chance that our nation has been in such turmoil. It's more than two weeks since the election, but the phrase moral values continues to resonate in political circles. Adam and Eve, you know. Some Sodom and Gomorrah. God made Adam and Eve. He's, he's not right, but homosexuality is wrong. Unacceptable and unnatural. The Sodom and Gomorrah story is not about homosexuality. The fact that that one particular passage gets used so much, particularly by the religious right, is very suspicious. Homosexuality. Uh, was not a word until maybe a little over a hundred years ago. What did Jesus say about homosexuality? And the response is absolutely nothing. Love, 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 love. The holiness code is used selectively by those people who want to turn the Bible into a weapon. But what about people who eat shellfish and split-hooved animals? What about people who wear clothing from two different types of material, huh? Who's paying attention to that today or not planting two crops in the same plot of ground? <laughs> and to literalize that in the 21st century is the height of ignorance. God did create Adam and Steve. What do you mean? We're told that no helper was found fit. So God resorts to major surgery, takes one of Adam's ribs, and creates a woman. And this woman, later named Eve, is presented to Adam as the helper. If there is a God, that he made me this way, you know. I sometimes thought God might be disappointed, but then I realized that if he didn't want me to be gay, I wouldn't be gay. So. If we were created in God's own image, which is their word, how could we all be so defective? I came out to my mom a year ago. The first words out of her mouth were, I could put a fucking rifle in my mouth and pull the trigger. How am I supposed to accept myself if I'm a member of something that looks at me and says, inherently, you're flawed? And I don't think of myself as inherently flawed. I'm gonna get up there and gag, honey, in heaven with the angels. Hey, girlfriend, hey, I like your feathers, girl. Your wings are wonderful, mama. <laughs> I think it's going to be a grand good time up there. You know, and I don't think, I think that God, honestly, what would heaven be like without a big old black queen like me?